Welcome back. Matt Lee joins us and uh, here to talk about March real estate numbers. How you doing, bud? I'm great. You? Yeah, I'm Good. very well. Um, when the, people talk about it's a seller's market, what does that mean? Well, the numbers are going to reflect why it's kind of called a seller's market. Basically, uh, when listings are down, sales are up, your inventory is kind of a supply and demand. Right. If there's less on the market but you have to move, um, prices tend to go up a bit. Hmm. So therefore, you're, if, if somebody thinks that they can get a little bit more because there's nothing else out there like it, um, then it becomes a bit of a seller's market. We've had a pretty balanced market for a long time. Um, right now. An even level kind of market. Yeah, like there's been an even trade where basically you're getting a good amount of sales and you're getting a good amount of listings. The new listings for the month are 827. Last year for, the, for March was uh, 1016. So you are um, about 200 low. Yeah, so we're looking at 19% um, down on new listings. The sales again, they're up for 12% uh, for the month and actual prices for year to date are up by uh, 12%. And the average sale price right now is 324,963. Uh, we had been uh, at the end of the year, kind of just in the 308 mark. So right now we're up um, an extreme amount hmm. uh, on a short period of time. So 12% from last year to this year, uh, an increase in price and increase in sales. So the, the 212 numbers and then 19 percent is down for listings so if you're looking at listing it now is the time give me a call find out what the house is worth and then we'll go from there now have you ever seen that uh that large a number before i guess that drop of a number in terms of listings available? in the 90s we've seen this a couple times uh where they've been kind of in between the the 15 and 20 mark um i'd have to go back and, and we've done numbers each month but um no it's it's rare it is rare. I would say that we're, we needed to get things started. Now, in saying that, March was cold and there was still snow coming down. It was rainy. People weren't really thinking about raking the lawn, you know, getting the gardens ready, getting the house ready. Now that we're getting some <clears throat> nice weather, um, you're starting to see those listings. Come on. Uh, the new market uh, came. Yesterday's market was 49 listings. The day before was 71 listings for the surrounding area. Now we're talking the far side again to Napanee and up to Highway 7. Like brand new listings. Brand new listings. Okay. So we're starting to see <coughs> that that influx of listings that should have happened two, three weeks ago. Right. Um, so I think, in my opinion, the market is late this year. Uh, so therefore, we just kind of continue along. Interest rates are still good. You know, there's incentives for the first home buyer instead of having two thousand dollars off their land transfer tax now they can get up to four thousand dollars off um, so uh, there is incentives there and uh, I think we're into the busy market right now but if someone wants to put their house on the market now they still have to deal with buying somewhere else though. that's right yeah, yeah so you want to get out and you want to see what's on the market where you want to go are you downsizing are you going to a bigger home we want to find out what your house is worth we have to do a market report um, and I and I do a full market report, which we go back to the office. We take the solds, the expireds, the actives, because you want to know what you're competing with. You want to know what has sold around you, and you want to know what it has actually expired. Because if you're going to list your house at a, a same price that to a house that is similar to yours and it expired, it means it's when it's on the market for too long. Um, we mm. want to figure out where the actual price is going to actually come in, right. and then we we find out what your house is worth, and then we find out where you're going to go. He's a smart guy. So. Boy, Matt knows what he's talking about. Uh, if you have any questions for Matt, here's how to get a hold of him. Real Estate Tips, brought to you by Matt Lee of Royal LePage.